Hi, my name's Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Audi Q5. Then I'll take you for a ride in it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 2 litre TDI S-Line S-Tronic Quattro. 2017 on a 17 plate. Has done 40,289 miles at the moment. Two registered owners. Fuel economy. Urban, 52.3 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 57.6 miles per gallon. And combined is 55.4 miles per gallon. Has a top speed of 135 miles per hour out of a four-cylinder, 187 brake horsepower, 16-valve engine. The big Audi grill, high-pressure headlamp wash, front parking sensors, five twin-spoke alloys with uh, Michelin uh, tires all round, the S-Line badges here, plastic wheel arch protectors, the aluminium roof bar carrier system, aluminium window surrounds, rear privacy glass, integrated rear spoiler, power open tailgates, also power close, roller blind, load cover, flat load area, reversing sensors here, twin uh, chrome tailpipes, and uh, again, the, the chrome trim at the back. I much prefer the access these days of four wheel drives, and certainly the cars that are squared off at the back. Nice horizontal, <laughs> headline in here so there's no having to duck forward to get out and duck forward to get in otherwise you crack your head on this bit so uh, real real nice nice and comfortable I've had to put the rear headrest up here because um, otherwise it ends up if you're an adult it ends up right in the middle of your back but seats are lovely it's uh, cloth and leather looks like uh, proper leather and contrast stitching you've got your own kind of climate control here uh, temperature and so on, and, and vents and a, a power socket. Rear armrest, rear Isofix child seat anchor points uh, in the seats here. This is just as it's come in. Lance hasn't given it the treatment yet, so when he does, it, it'll be like new. Uh, it, but nice anyway. Okay, I'll just take you for a ride in it. That's the Audi key there. Um, it's keyless go, so foot on the brake, press the button. Just get ready to turn this off because I'm sure that uh, my audio book will come up. Um, right. Turn the fan down. Again, Audi stuff, you've got to press one button and then press another to actually use it. Which, uh, <laughs> the reason escapes me. So that's the nav. Telephone's there. You've got radio and then media. Um, just turn that down so I don't get a copyright strike. But also with this vehicle, you've got Apple CarPlay. So there's a, a little USB in there, plug that in, just wait for it to connect. And there you go, that's a CarPlay. So that mirrors your, your phone, which to be fair is, it's better. Isn't it? And I, I always say it, they'd be better off not bothering with any of the equipment, the audio and the sat nav, uh, saving that money on every car and just doing it so you can plug your phone in because everybody's got a phone these days and that's updated virtually every day and the sat nav on these you either got to buy a new disc or, or download something or put an sd card in and uh, they're, they're they're never properly up to date so the apple carplay is brilliant you can just uh, there you go move that around you've got sat nav uh, whatever you've got playing and just flip that over there and then I can uh, flip to the next track and so on. Go back, I'll click play. Um, if I go over to the actual menu here, we've got audio books, 
and again ne next Amazon Music, WhatsApp. So that that's that's the best thing really, in my opinion. You just flick right. Oops. There you go. You just put it on nav. And also you can use uh, Siri and just ask it to navigate where you want to go. So that's that's dead simple. We've got height and reach adjustable steering wheel here. We'll get going. Nice chunky little gear selector. Um, that's the electronic handbrake. If uh, <coughs> in Audis, if you haven't got your um, seatbelt on and the the parks on, I can put it in drive. But it, I'm not going to go anywhere because it won't go off. But if you've got the seatbelt on, and then <coughs> the uh, handbrake goes off, so that's that's nice and handy. I've. Uh, just managed to get up here today and although there's somebody parked in a normal place that are video cars um, I've managed to get the outside done and, and the photos and it's just started raining which is usually the other way around I usually get soaked and then it then it stops raining when I go for a drive and I'm in the car so all good I, I did when this car came the other day I jumped in it to move it on the forecourt and I thought it was an electric one. Anyway, the good news is it's not, it's a, it's a proper internal combustion engine. But it, I have to say it does drive very nice. You've got heated seats, we've got the climate control, stop start off there, which we'll do. And then you've got here, drive select, that's a very bad bit of road there. Drive select, so click that. And you, you can you can change it, off-road, efficiency, comfort, auto. Well, again, I, I always go for comfort. But uh, you, can, you can do it for off-road. Doubtful you'll ever go off-road in it, but you never know. Might have snow. We had snow last week. And uh, I think it was supposed to snow this week, or might even be tomorrow. So, nice and quiet quite a busy steering wheel and uh, it's quite quite funny when you know when, when you started getting things on steering wheels I, I thought wow great that's that's fantastic <laughs> you know you don't have to move you don't have to take your hands off the steering wheel it's really good but I, I long for a just a plain steering wheel now on here you've got your volume controls over here here, uh, actually, I'm going to I'm going to pull up, put my glasses on. All right, so I've got my glasses on now, so I can show you a bit better. So on the on the steering wheel here, you, you've got this. There, you, you can change the centre display. If you flick that along there, you can change Apple CarPlay, and then you've got the sat nav view which I find pretty good it's only a little bit but you you know you you can basically see it without taking your eyes off the road in front so that's a good idea you've got your volume control here and then there you go can zoom in on the sat nav there knock the view off click back I'll play. I, I like I like the view of the the sat nav. We'll we'll put that back on. So that's uh, that's all good. You know, it's it's quite a bit overawing when you first look at it. Indicators on the left, wipers on the right, and just here you've got cruise control and speed limit. Just and you can actually see it through this, uh, you know, through these segments of the steering wheel, which is quite good. And then you've got your paddle shift. So just change down here. Change down too much there. Okay, we're all clear to go through here. So that's that's knocked it into manual. 
at the moment. It'll uh, go back into drive on its own if I don't mess about with the panels. Um, you've also got here, there's knock it into drive, knock it back again, you're in sport, holds it in gear longer. And if you knock the gear selector across, you can put it in manual like, like so and just change using the gear lever. But lovely Audi gearbox. That's in sport, I don't want it in sport. There's drive. It's all good. There's the heated seats. You've got this pad here, which quite honestly should never have been invented. I mean, why on earth you'd have that in a car, I, I just, I'll just never know. But anyway, you can click there, that clicks the menu on, and then you can use this rotary control. I think you can probably use that in some way, shape or form, but I haven't mastered it yet. And then navigation, map, Audi Connect, CarPlay, and then settings. We, we, we've got it on CarPlay and that, that's fine. The suspension's really good. The ride's very, very nice. I have to say not, not as harsh as some of the Audis are. And nice brushed aluminium um, inserts to the dash, the door cards, and also the left-hand side of the gear tunnel here which in previous Audis, it went right the way around and always somehow ended up getting um, dented or scratched and looked unsightly, but that, that's quite nice, nice and flat, good design. This bit here, that will hold a phone. And then, I better, I better stop. Is uh, there seems to be people intent on getting me in trouble, so I'll just stop to show you this. I'll put it in park, the park button is there. I'll put the handbrake on. There you go, so I'm not moving anywhere. That, that's my phone there. All I was going to do was move it over here. That's just, oh dear. Perhaps I wasn't just going to do that. So that, that's plugged in charging, and it's the Apple CarPlay. You've got your front centre armrest there with two USBs and I think an AUX in. And you can move that bit back. If you move that bit, the, the phone tray back, you've got your cup holders there. But it, it also covers, because I, I don't like to see cup holders. They're always messy. There's always stuff in them and, and like hot, spilled hot chocolate or a, a, a melted sweet. So at least you can cover it up with that. Uh, we'll get going again. Put it in drive. Away we go. The stop start switch is there, and on the left hand side there's a power socket. Over here, your electric door mirrors, just knock the switch over. Well, I don't know why that one switched off, <coughs> but um, it has it was it was fully charged <laughs> it just got a mind of their own over here your wipers if i click the end in there although the, the weather back window is not very wet at the moment so um 
probably no need for that, I'll knock that off. Squirt it towards you, pull it towards you, that squirts the screen. If the headlamps were on, it should. Let me just put the headlamps on. I can't tell whether that squirted the, the headlamps. Have to be careful these days. I, I think it's got headlamp uh, wash, but and, and I quite understand there's no point having two bumpers for, for a car. So sometimes they just put blanks in where the, the headlamp wash is, but I, I think it's got headlamp wash. But don't sue me if it's not. Because I've got the headlights on, that's in night mode. If I if I knock it back. Um, switch the headlights off. You'll see there that the, well, you won't see, will you, from there? Right, you'll, you'll see now that, uh, put the headlamps on, that's night mode, so it doesn't dazzle you. Back off, and it's just normal. So, all lovely. Seats are very, very comfortable, I have to say. It has got a little switch, a little circular switch on the side of the seat that um, does lumbar support. Uh, I, lovely car to drive. I think it's a big improvement on the last uh, Q5 as well. The, the, you know, the, this is a slightly updated one. They all look pretty similar, but I think the ride's uh, better from memory. Wipers are okay on the front screen. Just finds the, the center nicely again. on a slight bend. Not that I advise you take your hands off the steering wheel like I just did, but it's running straight and true. President's coming into land there. I do wish I could find somewhere to go off-road just to demonstrate these vehicles and what they're actually capable of and uh, ooh, hopefully you don't, uh, I need to go back and shift that. I can't leave that there, some, some bike is going to cop it. a little rabbit don't stand there I thought it was a rock what are you doing you oh gosh you've been hit come on go over there go on go on over there go on go on
Come on. Come on over here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Rabbit. That's it. Don't sit there. It was a hare, isn't it? Come on, off the road. Off the road, come on. Come on, off the road. Soaked. So it wasn't a rock, it was a it was a hare. Well, I have to say it's it's gone off it's gone off the road now. Um I thought it had been hit at first but it's not so it, it's all good. I thought it was a rock that some uh, motorcyclist would end up catching wasn't for moving anyway good deed for the day just coming down here looks like the weather well it has the weather's been foul over the last few days very very bad gale force winds and uh, rain lashing down it's brought all the stuff off the the hills made the road a bit bad. Change it. We're in, it's gone into manual, so we'll just go into drive again. Rain sounds like it's almost sleet. Just uh, see what we've got here. <clears throat> Click over to let's driver assist. to fuel economy. I can't really do that because it's been ticking over while I've been photographing it. Just see short term memory, fuel consumption, speed. <coughs> That's the screen I like as well apart from the sat nav. It tells you no ambiguity what how fast you're going, exactly whereas the analog pointy things are uh, can be a bit vague sometimes. <clears throat> I was just looking for the outside temperature, it's six degrees actually. Plenty of information on the on the screen there. So, sh so showing me how far I, I can go before I need to fill up. <clears throat> Very kind. I'm not in a hurry, but I'm sure some people who get stuck behind him are.
through the water splash. One of my uh, one of my subscribers sent me um, is it Barraford? I can't remember where it is, but there's a, a dip in the road and it's about three foot deep and people still keep trying to get through it and either and just get stuck in the middle. It looks like the, <laughs> there's a breakdown truck on duty every day there to pull them out. Strange road position to adopt there. Alright, we'll just go here. So that, that's it, another lovely car. Um, as I say, once Lance, well, if he, uh, if he manages to get a break in the weather once he's, once he's cleaned this, um, it, it'll be absolutely lovely. It drives great. Oh, I forgot to tell you the services, didn't I? So two services, length of the 7 2019 at 22,083, uh, Audi main dealer, 17th of the 9, 2021 at 37,803, again, Audi main dealer. So, um, and it's only done 40,298, so what, 3,000 miles since it was last serviced. All ready to go, lovely car. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.